Hi everyone, Yen here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a little test pour. Um, a friend of mine has commissioned me to do a big piece for her new apartment, um, which of course I'm very honored that she would ask me to do that. And um, she picked out some colors um, and I decided to do a little test run here to just come up with a suggestion. And um, turns out that she really loves this one. So I had attempted, um, sorry, I had intended to um, try a few different techniques, but this one really came out so beautifully. So this is what we're sticking with. So um, I'm doing, as you can see, an open cup pour. Um, and the colors are colors that she picked out. She wants me to represent the her happy place, which is when she goes scuba diving. So this obviously has to have a feel of water, deep sea, and um, that's what I was trying to accomplish. So I'm doing the, the open cup pour, um, as you see, and um, in case you don't know it, you have to keep the, put the cups up uh, a little higher than you would normally do in order for the paint to mix, that will generate the cells. Uh, and it worked out beautifully. These colors are new paints that I am trying out. They are actually from a place, most of them, a place called Sustone Grene. It's a Danish, um, what can I say, affordable interior design store. And um, they apparently now also have paints. Um, they, I'm surprised how what they seem to be obviously I'll have to see how it it looks once it's been resined and everything but the colors are definitely more pigmented than I had expected so that's very exciting um, I did only add two of my own so I added an Amsterdam Prussian blue which is the one I'm pouring right now and that's also the base coat and then the Pipeo Studio um, iridescent blue black because she had said that she wanted some silver in it as well. And I think that this blue black is um, perfect for that. So yeah, just pouring a second. Yeah, whoops, as I say, <laughs> the, the stirring thingy fell out. Uh, no harm done. Um, as you can see, the cup really wanted to sl slide to the side. I don't know why. As I'm writing here, the canvas was level, very level, but yeah, it just kept moving. So I'm trying to just keep controlling it a little bit because I didn't want it to all end up up in that corner, but it worked out fine. It worked out well. Now, of course, the big challenge is to transfer this to a bigger canvas, which will be very interesting and fun. I can't wait to do it. Can't wait to see the end result. So obviously, at some point, you will see the the video of uh, the bigger piece. I think the bigger piece is gonna be fifty by seventy centimeters, maybe sixty by eighty. Um, the wall space that she has, where she wants to hang it, is a little bit limited for bigger pieces, but sixty by eighty should definitely still work but might be a little too big. So 50 by 70 might be what I'm ending up with. Once again, I just want to thank you for coming back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, please do. Uh, it would help a lot. It means a lot to me, makes me, helps me uh, grow my channel and also put, put out more videos. Um, do leave a like and do leave a comment if you want. Um, as you can see here, I'm swiping. I decided to not only do the open cup, but also do a little swiping. So I'm swiping with um, uh, Australian Flow Troll Cell Activator. Mixed, so it's Australian Flow Troll mixed with Amsterdam Titanium White. Um, I really love the effect that it gave. It, it really made a big difference in this piece. So yeah, uh, a mix of 
open cup and swiping. So just one more swipe is what I decided to go for. I think that was just enough. Worked perfectly. Um, and I don't have much more to say. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this. Um, and I do hope that you will come back on for my next pour. I do have one. Um, I just recently released a pour where I made, uh, the, I called it Savannah. And one of my friends has bought it and he it reminded him of giraffes. Unfortunately, I made a mistake or I made a, um, yeah, I messed up the resin. So I actually had ended up having to throw out the painting, which is a first. But I actually managed to do another pour that was very, very close, or a swipe. I was very close to that original one. I'll show you that in the next pour that I, that I, or video that I post. And uh, you can see how close it actually did get to the original, which was great. And he actually loves this second um, result. So awesome. Have a great day. Bye.